everyone. It is Charlotte here. Come on in and welcome to Margaret Miller Tuesday, I guess we're going to call this. I uh, am hoping I can devote Tuesdays to the Collage Weekly Planner. Uh, I had mentioned before Dana gave this to me. She had purchased this a while back and just realized she was never going to do it. And so I said, I, I'll do it, I'll do it. So I went through and kind of got an idea of what you are supposed to do. And thank goodness it is a weekly and not a daily. But you can do whatever it is. Make it can, it's just going to take as long as it's going to take. So that fits right in with me because I have um, bag journals and I've been working on that. And I've got my covers. Look at those. Oh, they're going to be so cute. Anyway, all right, that's not what we're doing. We're doing this. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy uh, fourth. I think it's the fourth day of the new year and um i am hoping people are not sick i know my son is sick he's got i don't know some kind of like 24 hour flu bug thing so um the kids had it and luckily it seems to only be lasting 24 hours and they're back to back to themselves again so far so good now what do we need? Our planner tells us right here what we need to use. And we need something fast. We need a postage stamp. We need a piece of a map, a border or a frame, a portion of a brochure. And then as a bonus, you get a you use a form or a part of a form and I think form is going to be very subjective because I mean there's all kinds of I mean, you could fill out a form paper there's a I mean there's all kinds of forms so I'm gonna start with the piece of a map because I just happen to have craft paper really it's cardstock I think and I did cut this out and I did, I'm going to fill this page with it. I did um, go ahead and ink the edges. So we're going to put this on there and see if I can, maybe this will work better for me. We'll do it like this. I'm going to have to go back and see what others have done because uh, it is very subjective. What you pull, what you use. I love the fact that this is all in, it can all stay in the one book. So that's great. And let's see what trouble we can get into. It has been cold here, cold, cold, in the 40s. So, let's see what we got. Get our map piece down. I just happen to have map of Florida. So get this down, see if I can get it semi-straight. Oh, that is nowhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised it's not upside down. As bad as that was. Let's just try this again because that was, and that's not going to work. Well, I'm not off to a good start. Jeez, Charlotte. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. All right. What is this? The fourth time now? Am I off the page? I'm off the page. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. I'm sure my glue is drying at this point. This is so bad. Oh my golly. How can
can I be so like wrong here? All right. We are not perfect by any means, but we are good. There's Florida. So that's going to have to do. What would that take? Five takes? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, moving on. It may have been five takes. That looks good. I let you know the colors. Perfect. Okay, so we have our um, piece of a map. Something fast. You know, it is funny because you would think if you're going to have something fast, you would think, oh, maybe an airplane, a train, a car, something like that. You know the first thing that came to my mind? McDonald's, fast food. Yep, it did. And so my husband went yesterday. He goes every Saturday for the, uh, for the twins. And I said, ooh, bring back one of those bags, those McDonald's. McDonald's bags that has the uh, hash browns in them. So, yep. So, this is my something fast. Fast food. And I am going to leave this as a pocket. And I think I could put it in the middle, but I think I'm going to put this right there like that. Yep. Oh, Charlotte here thought of fast food. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to have to go. I didn't pay much attention to this last year, what people were doing. I know there were several people that were doing this challenge. And because I wasn't doing it, I really didn't pay any attention to what anybody else was doing. So now I'm going to have to go back and see just how weird I am. And see what people, what others used. I think if you go into YouTube, just um, put in the search bar, the Margaret Miller Weekly Challenge, and everybody should come up and you can see what's a happening. Okay, so we have something fast and we have a piece of a map. We need a portion of a brochure, and what I wanted to use for that, I have this tag, and I wanted to use this here. So, this was one of those bags. And all of these pieces on here are brochures, so I thought let's um, do a piece of this because I think that'll be really, really cute. And I am guessing this is a brochure, and I think there's all kinds of um, brochures you could use, but I thought this might be really cute. So I thought I would just... Just do this. Can you imagine getting a stove like that? I'm sure it's iron. For $3.75. Nickel. That, that's amazing. I have absolutely no doubt that back then that was a lot, a lot of money. That is amazing. So let's cut this. Tear this out. And let's see what I need here. I might use it right there just so I have it and it doesn't go to waste. I think, well, let's just glue this here like that. I don't want to complicate this because if I do, I probably will never want to finish it. So let's not overcomplicate it. 
Let's keep it what it is. I'm sure you can add a lot more to it and do whatever you want as long as your page has the prompts in it. I don't think it matters what else, but for this page, I am sticking to the prompts. Other than the tag, I am literally sticking to the prompts. And as I'm sitting here thinking, I don't think I'll cover the golden arches because that tells you where it's from and that it is fast food. And if I cover that up, you may not recognize it. So I think I will keep it. So there is our brochure. And I am thinking I want it to go right inside of there. And I really don't want to throw this away, so I might. I might go ahead and use this. I could put it in my scrap bag, but why? Let's just use her up. So I'm wondering how many people are doing this challenge. I think um, Margaret may have come out with a different challenge. I haven't had time really to get on the computer and see what's going on. So I'm gonna have to go and do that, but there might be a new book So you can get this on Etsy. I do know that. So we'll just put this little piece here as a collage. And I like the way that the uh, bag is cut. So we have our something fast, our, post, our uh, map, and we have our brochure. And we need a form, we need a postage stamp, and we need a frame. So I do have, this is what I pulled for a form. It's Tim Holtz Ephemera. And I really thought I might. I'm wondering if I want to put some glaze on it. Hmm. I don't have my colored pencils over here. That might be kind of, I might come back and use a colored pencil on that. But I think I have this as a frame and I've got this as a postage stamp. Isn't that just beautiful? I couldn't even tell you where I got this. It's um, pretty sure Greece, Greek. can't tell but it sure is pretty would be really pretty there I kind of would like to cover up the McDonald's look at how pretty that is well I know it's McDonald's and that's really all that matters so if I covered the golden arches would it really be that big a deal probably not I do like the frame down here because there is all that white. So I could my stamp there like that, or I think I really like that. So I think that's how I'm gonna use it. So I know it's a fast food wrapper. So I know I meant that challenge and I also did the bonus so that's cool so let's put this here just like that and I think I'm gonna put the frame like that and I'm gonna put this there so 
I really didn't go out of the out of the realm of what the prompts were. But I do think this is a pretty page. I like it. So I'm happy with what I did. And then we'll put the frame, we'll frame that stamp. Yeah, just like that. You could use a frame or you could use a border, but I like the frame. So let's get the glue, let's get my wet glue. That will work better, I think, than the uh, glue stick. And if you wanted to and you did something similar to this, you could make this frame a pocket. So it's really, this was, this was pretty easy. I mean, that, that's it. I should have two, four, six items, and that's including the bonus. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six items. So, wow. She was easy peasy. I like that. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. So week one really is done. That's week one. She looks good. I like that. All right, shall we take a peek at what week two is going to be? And I guess I'll dedicate Tuesdays to the Margaret Miller Planner. So, um, week two then would be, I need a person, an image from a magazine, I need a doodle, I need a piece of washi tape, a tea bag cover, and as a bonus, an illustration. So an illustration, I am guessing, could be I mean, you can see it's it's not difficult. So, um, yeah, guys, well, I think that is going to be it. I am going to go off camera and kind of fill this in a little bit. Just put some little notes here of what I used and um, the date that I did this. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of Take care of yourselves, guys. Hugs. Bye.